Old Block is one of the most known sets in Chicago. They got big artists like Chief Keef and King Von, who put on for them all over the world, but they also roll deep with some of the most savage shooters in the city. In 2017, a respected member of Old Block named T-Roy was killed. His death made members of Old Block and 600 come together to form one of the deadliest cliques in Chicago history, the Get Back Gang. Let's get right into it. T-Roy was one of Old Block's key members. He was born and raised in the neighborhood and jumped off the porch at a young age. But what turned him into an assassin was when his homie Odie Perry got killed in 2011. OD was from Wick City, which became O Block after his death. He was allegedly killed by KI, a female shooter from STL EBT, as revenge for the death of a GD named Tuka. T Roy and King Von were both close to OD, and his death turned them both into savages. T Roy allegedly caught his first body when he killed an STL EBT affiliate named Baby Doc. Then he took out another dude from the same set named Boss Trail. Boss Trail was a major loss for the GDs, so when T Roy allegedly took him out, it made him a major target. Over the next few years, T-Roy became one of Oblock's main shooters. Some people say he shot at over 30 dudes and is responsible for at least 7 murders. But on February 15, 2017, his ops caught him lacking and he was allegedly killed by a dude named TB. TB was from a GD set called Taekwon World, who was known to be for Oblock. On the day he got killed, T-Roy was allegedly out hunting for TB but was spotted by his ops before he could find him. According to rumors, FBG Duck's older brother, FBG Brick, spotted T-Roy and gave TB his location. So, TB was able to get the drop on him first. T Roy's death was a huge loss for Oblock. He was one of their most well loved members and top shooters. After he died, his brother HK formed a Get Back Gang and kicked off one of the most violent beefs in the history of Chicago. King Von was in prison at the time T Roy was killed. They were close as brothers, so revenge was the only thing on Von's mind. Everyone knew that a war was brewing. A dude from 600 named Buka put the whole city on alert when he tweeted, Y'all don't know the half of what's gonna transpire. The ops might have gotten T Roy, but his homies was about to make him regret it. But before GBG could get to work, the BDs lost another member named Babo. He was one of the top shooters from THF 06, a BD set allied with Oblock and 600. Just six hours after he posted bail for a murder charge, Babo was allegedly killed by Drilla in Montana from 051 Young Money, a set of the Mickey Cobras. At this point, GBG was ready to shoot every op on site, no matter what they repped. The first body they allegedly caught was a dude from Draw City named Lil Ho. Gleesh, E Dog, Duke, and T Roy's brother, HK, was hunting for ops in Draw territory. When they saw Lil Ho on the street, they let off shots without hesitation and made the Get Back Gang official. After the hit, E Dog let everyone know that they were just getting started when he tweeted, Summer 2K17, a lot of Get Back Gang shit about to be going on. Hashtag, it's gonna be a cold ass summer. One week later, Mikado and Catfuck12 from 600 ran up on JMO from MOB and shot him to death. Then, HK and Duke supposedly caught an op from Taekwon World a month later. They was roaming around the enemy territory when they saw a dude named Poppy. That's when HK allegedly hopped out and shot him in the head, earning him the nickname Headshot King. According to rumors, the next hit came when Oblock and 600 was sliding in STL EBT's turf. They saw FPG Brick and his cousin Kobe Mack walking down the street and pulled up next to him. Kobe walked up to see who was in the car, then Gleesh and Catfuck12 allegedly started letting off shots. Brick tried to run off, but Trey5 and HK chased him down and killed him. Killing Brick was massive for GBG. After the hit, they mocked Brick on social media and made it clear that he wasn't going to be the last op they took out. e Dog tweeted, hashtag, it's going to be a cold ass summer. A few months later, HK finally got revenge on the dude who killed his brother and started Get Back Gang's brutal killing spree. On September 26, 2017, HK, Gleesh, and Mikado allegedly tracked down the location of TB from Taekwon World. TB was with another dude named Side, and both of them got hit in the head. Side survived, but TB died at the scene. GBG finally had payback for T Roy's death, but that wasn't enough. At this point, it was like O Block and their allies were trying to wipe out the whole city. Chicago was always violent, but Get Back Gang was dropping bodies like nobody had ever seen. Two days after TB's murder, E Dog, Mikado, and Gleesh killed a dude from Draw City named Freddy O. Three days before the TB hit, E Dog tweeted, hashtag, Get Back on the Way, just watch. GBG wasn't just hitting the ops on site, they was posting their moves on social media for everyone to see. They didn't care if the ops saw them coming, they thought they could step on anyone in their way. By this point, GBG looked like they was untouchable. It was like they could kill anyone they wanted, whenever they wanted. STL EBT, Draw City, and Taekwon World wasn't really even fighting back. Old Block and 600 was rolling so deep that no one wanted to smoke with them. But things changed when Wooski from STL EBT, Lil Cho from Taekwon World, and Skinny from Draw City decided to link up and take out one of the deadliest shooters in Get Back Gang. Skinny, Wooski, and Lil Cho had all lost homies to Get Back Gang, and they got tired of being hunted in their own territory. According to rumors, the three of them rolled up to Old Block and saw HK standing outside the gates. He saw him coming and tried to run inside, but he got hit and fell down. 
Then Lil Cho, Skinny, and Wooski allegedly finished him. A few days before HK was killed, he jumped into the comments on Skinny's IG Live and taunted him about TB's death. Skinny and TB was very close, so HK dissing him on social media made him an even bigger target for Skinny. After HK died, Skinny posted a caption on his IG story that said, All HK wanted was BT Roy. Now he with him. HK was the most hated op for STLEBT, Draw City, and Taekwon World. After he died, all of them started celebrating on social media. HK paid his ops back for the death of his brother, but in the end, he was caught too. Before T-Roy died, HK wasn't really in the streets, but his brother's death forced his hand, and he got revenge. Even though they lost one of their top dudes, GBG wasn't finished. One night, Duke, Moolwop, and E-Dog was allegedly out looking for a dude from STLEBT named Can't Get Right. Can't Get Right had allegedly killed two popular members from O-Block back in 2016, Chino and Big A. Someone told E-Dog and his homies that Can't Get Right was outside of a store in STLEBT territory, so they slid through and rushed him. Can't Get Right was shot in the back as he tried to run away, and an innocent bystander was also shot and killed. Then the two shooters emptied their clips into Can't Get Right while he was on the ground. One day before the hit, E-Dog tweeted, It's gonna be a cold ass summer, which let everyone know that 2018 was gonna be the same as 2017. Then, King Von and a bunch of other O Block members started dissing Can't Get Right on social media. Next up on Get Back Gang's hit list was a dude named Dooski from MOB. DQ from O Block and Catfuck12 allegedly saw him while they was riding around the city and killed him on sight. But the next day, MOB had their own Get Back when they took out a dude from 600 named Waldo. Wooski was one of Get Back Gang's biggest ops after he allegedly took out HK. And the plan they cooked up to take him out was like something out of a movie. The dudes from GBG knew that Wooski would be at Dooski's funeral, and they knew it was their best chance to catch him. Before the funeral, E-Dog and Vaughn hopped on FaceTime with Wooski and told him, we'll surprise you, and a few days later, they made moves. During the funeral, O-Block members pulled up to kill Wooski and whoever else they could hit. They started dumping shots into the crowd. The op shot back, and all of a sudden, there was a shootout going on broad day. Wooski sent shots at DQ, but DQ hit him in the head and then ran back to the car. When it was all over, six people got shot, but all of them survived including Wooski. This was the last major GBG operation. Most of them kept on putting work in the streets, but it wasn't all out war like before. For a while, it seemed like they was invincible, but then the ops started catching bodies too and proved that one or two sets can't just link up and run the whole city without taking losses of their own. In 2020, King Von was shot and killed after getting into a fight with Quando Rondo in Atlanta. His death was the biggest loss O Block had taken in a long time, but it wasn't even ops from Chicago who ended up killing him. A couple of months before Von's death, FPG Duck was killed while he was out shopping in the wealthy Gold Coast neighborhood of Chicago. Two cars full of shooters pulled up and started letting off shots, killing Duck in broad daylight. At first, no one knew who was behind the hit. Duck was one of the most popular GDs in the city, and he had plenty of enemies who wanted him dead. But in 2021, O Block members Muwap, C Thang, C Murder, and Los was charged for his death in a RICO indictment. Duck's mother said that another dude from O Block named Zell Money was involved too, but he committed suicide before the charges was brought against him. By this point, Trey Five was already locked up and was allegedly kicked out for snitching on Mikado. 600 was never as deep as O Block, and it took a lot of heavy losses too. So Get Back Gang lost a lot of their main dudes in a very short time. Some GBG affiliates are still out sliding today but it's not the same as 2017 and 2018. After T-Word was killed, Get Back Gang went on a spree where they allegedly caught nine bodies in about a year and only lost two of their own. No one had ever seen anything like it, and GBG had everyone watching their backs. They was ready to crash out anytime, anywhere, but that mentality ended up getting a lot of them killed or locked up. Chicago remains one of the wildest cities in America, and it seems like the war in the streets might never end. So many bodies have been dropped on both sides that there's almost no chance these dudes move on without getting revenge for the homies they lost. So unless something changes, it's only a matter of time until the next get back.